Welcome. When you're walking down the service road near the St. John's River in Florida, you pass by this huge tank, a 154-foot-tall remnant of the U.S. Space Shuttle program. And you wonder how it ended up here. The reason is that the logistics of transporting and storing such a huge structure are very difficult, so this place became the final home of this fuel tank. Your passage also provides an opportunity to take a look at a structure that was built in 1977 and was used for endurance testing and launching the space shuttle. For many years, this precious piece was on display at the Kennedy Space Center. But after the space shuttle program ended in 2011, NASA announced that it would remove the fuel tank to make room for the retired space shuttle Atlantis along with a new display facility. The fuel tank was auctioned off and sold to the Wings of Dreams Aviation Museum in Keystone Heights, Florida. It will take a 200-foot barge, tugboats and cranes to move the massive tank from Kennedy Space Center to Green Cove Springs, where it will be temporarily held before moving on to its final destination. It ended up there and recently a sign was placed in front of it describing its function, use in the U.S. space program, and how it got to its final resting place. This was 2013, and the Wings of Dreams Museum closed in 2019. Here we are done. Goodbye.